And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith once again. And today I just wanted to take a moment and discuss with you as well as through the video what was AMD thinking with the Radeon with, with their Radeon settings blockchain beta driver? Now I understand when Vega 64 launched recently, as well as Vega 56 yesterday, as the time of this video, that AMD introduced the Radeon packs to thwart or divert attention from miners, making it a little bit more difficult for miners to contemplate getting those graphics cards, hoping to leave more in the hands of gamers. But at the same time, they put out a blockchain driver, and a lot of people had a bit of a hard time accepting this as saying that they were speaking out of both sides of their mouth. Now, I totally understand where people are coming from, and I get that. I really do. But just to go ahead and get this out of the way, this is speculation on my part, as well as a bit of just what I see happening in the market and something that I wanted to touch on and see what the audience here has to say about it. So please leave your comments in the comment section below and love to have a conversation on this. If you followed AMD over the years as well as through the last cryptocurrency uh, boom and burst what have you with Litecoin mining and Bitcoin mining of 2013 and 14, you'll know that what happened to the company was at the end when it become very unprofitable really quickly, the market got flooded, uh, the used market rather. So like eBay was flooded, uh, Reddit now like hardware swap would become flooded as well as uh, online forums and what have you. So with the upcoming availability of Vega, AMD addressed a huge concern for Polaris users, which is the DAG file increasing. And we're going to use Ethereum right now for the example because it is the most popular cryptocurrency for mining, uh, or GPU mining anyway. So as the DAG file increased, the performance of Polaris chips decreased. Just for example, the RX 480 had a default of 24.8 uh, megahashes per second. Now that's with the default drivers and default BIOS on a reference card. But optimized, it could get between 29 and 30. However, as the DAG file increased, it was dropping down to, well, right around 25, 26 megahashes with an optimized BIOS. Just for uh, comparative sake, the GTX 1070 by default would get 25.1 megahashes, but optimized would get 30 to 32, resulting in very similar performance per watt. Although although the 1070 is considerably more expensive, which is why the 480 slash 580 was so sought after from, from miners. Well, now that number has dropped, you know, custom VBIOS is getting about the same as an, a default one, which is making people consider dumping these cards in exchange for higher performing cards. Now with this updated blockchain driver, the graphics cards are back to full speed. I've tested it for myself and get between 29 and 30 mega hashes per second with an RX 480. And what that does is, it's not necessarily catering to miners, but it is in a way. What it's doing is keeping those people who already bought into the 480s and the 580s and the Polaris cards, already bought in, it's keeping them on their cards and keeping them mining rather than flooding the used market and allows for those new cards that are coming to market to be more more sought after by gamers rather than miners because it doesn't make a lot of sense right now to buy them at those prices but if you've already got them they're keeping people on those cards longer so that's my theory on that one is that it's it's not necessarily to benefit the miners rather than to pacify and keep them on the cards that they're on rather than flooding the market with used cards leaving more availability for new cards as they come back into the market so that their board partners can profit from it so that's my theory in there and i just wanted to talk about that for a minute today and see what you guys all had to think about out there in the audience so this has been keith with wccf tech tv and if you found this video entertaining or informative at all feel free to leave a like and subscribe as well as leave your comment down in the description and we'll catch you in the next video